Hello everyone in the multiverse. It is just me this time, Drea. Um, I am co-owner of Multiverse Comics in Culpeper, Virginia. And so today I'm gonna to be talking to you about uh, basically why I think comics are true literature. You will have to excuse some background noise. Uh, Dan is showing the boys how to defeat Mysterio <laughs> in Shattered Dimensions. An oldie but a goodie. Uh, but anyway, so, um, so many people think that comic books are not true literature, and I have an answer to that, and the answer is Sturgeon's Law. Now, if you've never heard of Sturgeon's Law before, this is not something that I made up, this is something that uh, I have been made aware of, so if you need to, pause the video, go look it up on Wikipedia. I will wait. You good? Okay. So. Basically, if you didn't look it up, that's fine. Sturgeon's Law basically says that uh, in any art form, be it music, literature, uh, whatever, um, painting, 90% of what is put out by people is crap. 10% is really, really good. No matter what art form you uh, apply that to, in my experience, it's totally true. 10% of all novels are good. 10% of all art is good. 10% of all music is good give or take seven, you know what I mean? Like, but that's the idea. There's a lot out there that's not great. And some of it is because it's debut, people are figuring out their voice, they're figuring out their style, they're getting it out there and it's, it's, it's good, yeah, it's all right, it's good. Um, but it's not quite that 10% that of this is what the art is, this is what music is, this is what literature is. And unfortunately, because 90% exists, 90% that is crap, Unfortunately, when someone wants to prove that one art form is not legitimate, they take that from that 90%, the lower, lower, lower dredges of the 90% and say, see, comic books are not literature, look at this. Probably something from the Silver Age, let's be honest with ourselves. But the thing is, they ignore the 10%, and then when they're comparing it to other literature, they take from the 10% of novels and literature and classics that are out there and say, see, this is not equal to this, therefore it's not literature, it's not true art. You can't do that. You have to compare apples to apples and oranges to oranges. And so when I look at what I think is legitimate literature, and I take literature very seriously, I teach literature. I'm a high school English teacher. I also, in my personal life, if I were not a teacher, I would be a literary critic of, to some degree. I'm an academic. I'm constantly educating myself on literature and the different aspects of it. It's something that fascinates me and I'm very, very invested in it. So when I say literature is important, I mean it. And when I say that comics are literature, I mean it, I believe it. So don't let anybody tell you that comics are not literature. Um, very recently, LeVar Burton, I will not quote him exactly, but uh, LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow basically said, if a kid likes uh, superheroes, buy him a comic book. Yes, do that, please, get them reading. Just let them read. Don't censor them just because there's fancy pictures on it. Like, I'm not saying let them read everything. There's some things that, in a comic world, that should not be read, should not exist. But there's also some classic literature out there that I think should not exist. <laughs> so, do with that as you will. Appreciate the fact that comics are literature, and if anyone argues with you, just say, Matt, that's your opinion. And uh, maybe show them a few things that are very popular, but not really good. So Sturgeon's Law, proving that comics are literature. So do not forget to like this video because I am awesome, and subscribe, and we will see you in the multiverse.